Buongiorno, DiGiorno. Happy fast day. <laughs> Y'all thought it was over. It's never over. Um, today's fast day, if you're still alternate day fasting and continuing on with the challenge. Speaking of challenge, I thought this video could be dedicated to those that got some results from the seven day challenge. Hi, lovely ready. Um, because I did, I got some, I got some nice results. And the thing about results is that they're motivating and we love that. Hi, Tiffany. Hi, Tara. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, so as you're coming in, hit the like button and also if you did the seven day challenge, put your results in the chat box so I could shout you out, okay? I'll be doing little reminders throughout as more people come in, but I'm going to talk about my results, my experience with the seven day challenge and um, how I felt during it, anything I've noticed, showcase your results, and um, I'm actually going to peek in on the ADF group, the Facebook ADF group, which if you want the link, it's down below. It's free. You can join. 16,000 strong and growing. And um, I'm going to share some results from there. I'm not going to like put their picture up, but I'm just going to talk about like who did what, who achieved what, and shout them out too. So that's exciting. All right, so for those that did the seven day challenge, put your results in the chat so I can shout you out because you did a great job. Whether you lost two pounds, 10 pounds, whatever, if you've lost an inch, if something changed, you know, like the towels wrapping further around, whatever it is, you see your cheekbones, you could see clearly now the rain is gone. Like, it, whatever the difference is, Put it in the chat. I'll shout you out. Um, but yeah, so I lost six pounds in seven days. I wish it was seven and seven, but we'll, of course we'll take it. Of course we'll take it. If you want to see my results, you need to go to the my YouTube com community tab. I have three different pictures. So go to my YouTube community tab. You'll see before and after pictures, front and side. You will see my day one live face and my day seven live face, which I that, that one made me the happiest. When I tell you I don't like fluffy face, I cannot stand fluffy face. And to see the face slim down it's like all the motivation I need. The body is whatever, okay? We could body yaddy all day, but the face, the face. That's what that's what no inflammation looks like, okay? And um, also the scale. And somebody said like my feet shrunk because they were swollen in the first picture and in the second photo, the day seven photo, it was like, oh wow, your feet even shrunk. <laughs> That's that inflammation. It's it's great. Um, so I just want to let you know that um, I'm going to say something controversial. You are not entitled to weight loss. If you could let those words ruminate in your mind and kind of come to terms with it, every week is not going to produce weight loss. For most, your first week will be your most like, wow, I, like you'll have a big jump usually in the first week. It's a change to the system, a shock. You'll be losing a lot of water. You will be, um, you know, just jump starting something. Things that didn't want to be on you will just jump off in that first week of ADF. After that, you're not entitled to weight loss. Okay. Because first and foremost, what I like to say and what Jen Stevens, the author of Fast Feast Repeat, 
She said that fasting is a health plan with weight loss as a side effect. So if you can go in, focus on your why, and um, focus on your health, the weight will do what the weight will do. If you're doing the right thing, and this applies to anything in life, if you're doing the right thing in life, what you deserve will come to you. If you're doing the right thing, what you deserve will come to you. You could apply that to anything in life. Anything, okay? Um, let's see what people are doing. Hi, Desmond. Welcome. You just started the challenge today, Tiff. So far, no calories. Praying I could be disciplined. I'm praying for you. For those, for those starting the challenge, your biggest thing, okay, of course, day one is going to be jarring, okay, especially if you're coming off, you know, a lot of food. Your second fast day is the day that will make or break you. If you could get past your second fast day, you're, you're going to be okay. I just want to give you that heads up. Good morning. Oh, hi, lovely ready. Um, it's evening over here. Where are you? Hi, Fox. You're just here. Oh, Stacy. Hi, honey. Stacy and Denton, who is for one, one of my besties. She's part of my girl group, one of the women I say like I admire. Um, and two, she is a YouTuber with her family, her wonderful husband and kids. Hi, Stacy, baby. <laughs> Uh, we go on our girls trips together. We like, that's my girl. We go to parties together. We celebrated our birthdays together. Oh, what you doing here? That made me so happy. Um, so yes, go check out, um, the Denton family because Stacy and her husband are just wonderfully delicious. They mainly do shorts. Um, Miss Ashley lost seven pounds. Wow. Wow. In the week. Amazing. Fox world, two pounds. We'll take that. We'll take that. Okay. You lost 4.1, Cynthia. You lost six pounds like me, Miss McJack. Voice of Vicky lost 5.6 pounds. And mind you, all of these are within a seven day span. Okay. So these, these are, these are numbers. If you were doing something typical, usually you'd be starving, hungry, can't eat carbohydrates, have to think about it every day, and be lucky to lose two pounds. Okay? If you read the title, I didn't diet, and I sure didn't exercise. You know why? Because I was sick from day two. <laughs> when I started this challenge on Monday, I was like, yeah, I'm going to get some walking in. By day two, I was literally sitting here on live, feeling the sickness take over. And um, I've been sick ever since. So there was absolutely no exercise. I did eat because I didn't lose my appetite. <laughs> so, and I still lost six pounds in seven days. Zay lost eight pounds and Kita lost five pounds. Um, Lovely Ready lost two inches, down by three kilos. Juanita lost five. Jacqueline lost three. Amanda lost five. Renee lost six. Sharonda lost five. Wendy lost six. Impatient Crafter is feeling great on the challenge, and she's continuing, and she lost five pounds. Um, element doesn't necessarily break your fast. Just don't go over the calorie limit, which is like 50 for dirty fasting. Um, bop, 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 bop. Oh, you're doing the water fast with Dr. Mindy Pelsness. Awesome for you. Lee lost 11 pounds. 11 pounds. Wow. 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 That is a, that is, that's a lot. Are you okay? <laughs> Stop. Um, I lost seven pounds. That's Tanisha. So these people are losing weight. And mind you, they are not losing weight during that seven days is, is odd, I will say, but it's not uncommon, okay? 
sometimes people have just a lot more like sugar to work through before they could end up like burning off that stuff. Sometimes people hold on to water a lot more. You'll lose inches and not see the scale move. So there's a lot of like factors that come into losing weight during that seven day period, especially if you're just starting. Commonly, you'll see a four to seven pound weight loss, but people losing 10, that is not average. And people losing two is not average. So I usually see four to seven pounds of weight loss during the first initial you know, seven days. I lost five pounds when I first, first started my first week of ADF before. Hi, miss. Yeah, it's been a while. Um, Shauna is down 11 pounds. As I said, they are exceptions. Okay. Um, I'm proud of you all. Sadia lost nine pounds. You're afraid to weigh because you have a bad relationship with this scale. As long as you know that, don't weigh. Don't. Pictures. Take pictures, okay? Because you'll hear the number. Naya lost 10 pounds. Whew. Okay, so take pictures, please. You need to start taking pictures. They are essential. You ever took pictures uh, or videos of your children and look back at them? Yes, you, that, it's that important. It's that important because you need to know what the old you look like so you don't go back there. It's good to know what the old you looks like just to say, okay, this, is, this was me, this is me now. And so you could start focusing on little changes that you can visually see instead of numerically. Because remember... The scale is really, really, really just data. It's just data. It is numbers. Okay, it's not going to tell you if you had a bowel movement. It's not going to tell you if you gained muscle. It's not going to tell you if you're holding on to water weight. It's not going to tell you if you're on your period. It's not going to tell you if you're a good person. It's not going to tell you if you're motivated. It's not, it's not going to tell you any of that. All it's going to give you is three numbers, three numbers, and, and you know, two number numbers if you're overseas. And, um, you know, you could be on a slanted floor and get the wrong number. Who knows? Give yourself a good amount of time between each weigh-in. I think it's, it's more satisfying to see a, a good juicy number. And that comes in time. You know, I don't want to go on every day and see if I lost a, a 0.2 ounces. Like that's, that's, it's not healthy for my brain. And um, it's not necessary. Like, why? What? What? If you're doing what you're supposed to do, you're gonna get what you deserve. And um, and that comes in all kinds of forms. Okay. Okay. If your pants are getting looser on you, you're doing what you you're supposed to do, and you're getting what you deserve. If you start liking what you see in the mirror, if your skin starts clearing up, if you feel a little more bountiful, if you could hop, skip, and jump out the bed easier. Like those are non-scale victories. That counts. All right. Don't give up and beat yourself up. Oh, I didn't see a million pounds come off in three days. Like, no, that's unrealistic. You are not entitled to weight loss during alternate day fasting. You're entitled, you're entitled to fat loss. I will say that much. I will say that much because weight and fat loss are two different things. Okay. You, you are entitled to fat loss. If you want to say that, yeah, that you do deserve. Just losing like five pounds one week and then no pounds the next week. It happens. It happens. The best thing that ever happened to me during my journey one time was maybe I was on like month three and I was going through a transitionary period and I had no access to a scale for like a month. And then when I finally was able to weigh myself, I realized I lost another 11 pounds. Okay. And so I lost 11 pounds in a month, but imagine if I was going on this scale every week, 
what would that have break, broken down to? What if I lost five pounds one week and no weight one week and then two pounds another week and then, the, you know, four pounds another week? It varies. Every week is not going to be a momentous loss. So if you could get through that, the whoosh effect, I will have you please, um, Ness, expand, expand on that effect. I haven't heard of that. It took you at least two to three to see results from ADF. Um, let me see. ADF has helped me reach my BMI goal. That's wonderful. Josie lost 4.8 pounds. I feel like the more body fat you have, the faster it sheds off. This is true because it feeds off fat. Eight, fasting feeds off fat. Of course, it's low, it's low calorie. You're in a calorie deficit, but a calorie deficit won't eat through fat. Fast specifically eat fat. I love I love saying eat fat. Like eat my fat. <laughs> Um, and Kita asks, how are you able to maintain your weight loss even after getting off ADF in between, um, like post jaundice diagnosis? It's great. You are able to keep the pounds off. I throw in fast here and there. Like, um, I haven't true fasted like this since my first like complete weight journey. I have not done true ADF in a long time. I'm going to keep going and see if I could hit 150. That is the goal. I want to be skinty just to see what it looks like. And then um, when people start asking me if I'm on drugs, then I'll be like, okay, I could stop now. But yeah, I'll have like, I'll probably do more regular daily intermittent fasting than like a whole day. I'll have an OMAD here. I'll do a 24 there. I'll, you know, just like, if I want to eat a whole day, I'll have a whole day eating. I, I still intermittent fast to maintain. And very important, most importantly, when you're maintaining is you have to be moving. You have to move. It's non-negotiable. If you're maintaining, you need to, you need to move because the more you lose weight, without exercising, then you're going to start like getting to a point where, okay, you need to get to the next level. You're going to have to start moving. And um, the best thing I could say is walking. None of us are walking. En- none of us are walking enough unless you have a very physical job. Like I used to have, I think that's the main reason I stopped ADF because my job was so physical. I needed more calories. I had a, like, I would hit 12,000 steps a shift and it wasn't even a whole day. So after the shift, I still had more walking to do because I was living life. So I would easily hit like 18,000 steps a day. That is just, I was moving too much for ADF. And so that's how I kind of like stopped ADF and plus, yeah, the jaundice. Well, even before the jaundice, it was like, I I need to eat. <laughs> You've been measuring yourself? Nice. <clears throat> ramen girl. I looked back on ADF group and see my old pictures when we first started Colleen. Oh yeah, that's great. Shauna, you've come so far. Colleen, do you have an hourly ADF schedule to get an idea? What does that mean? An hourly ADF schedule. I don't know what that means. Jacqueline says, Colleen, I was so disappointed in myself because I lost 30 pounds since October 18th and I was expecting a big number during the challenge and just lost three pounds. You could have lost zero. You could have lost zero and be real upset. That's why this is, this is why I talk about gratitude, y'all. You could have lost nothing. You could have gained. What if you had gained? God forbid. And I'm not wishing that on you. I just want you to be thankful that you lost three pounds because that's your three pounds closer now. Because a lot of people, they plateau and don't see any more weight loss until they do something maybe extreme. So maybe as you get closer to your goal, like it's just a little bit at a time. 
you might need to implement something as clean up your diet or start having like a daily exercise goal, like 10K a day. <clears throat> Ronnie lost five pounds. And Keto wants to be skinty like me. Yes. Golden Queen wants to be skinty like me. Yes. I want to be like, um, Stacy, if you're still here, I want to be like you, honey. Stacy has one, two, three. She had she has three babies out of her body and she is model slim. Miss Stacy. Um, nowhere near well enough. Well, yeah. We're not walking enough. And then we want all these dramatic results. You you may get it in the first week, but don't expect it every week. If you're under eating, that's another thing. If you're under eating, we had this conversation. If you're under eating, your body might rebel and be like, okay, I'm not letting go of any fat. You're going to die soon. So in, in order to keep you alive, I'm just going to hold on to this. That's why I say don't don't under eat. Should I should I refer back to what Jen Stevens said? Let me just read what I need to read. This isn't the fasting Olympics where the more you can fast the better. Never forget that we need the up pattern to balance out the down. I really want to hammer that last point home. The key to the whole thing is a up day following every down day. So the up day is eating and the down day is fasting. That's the part that keeps our metabolisms humming along. That's the part that lets your body know you are not in danger of starving. Okay. And this is from a book. So... If you're under eating, you are causing, if you're under eating and over fasting, you're causing way more harm than anything. And that could be a reason why you stop losing weight, honestly, because the body is just like scared. It's scared. It doesn't know what you're going to do to it. Stay on the pattern, feed it sufficient calories. Um, as for me, so my time during the seven day challenge, okay, peaks. Peaks were getting to a point where I started to crave the fast. I think that was maybe day three. Yeah. So day three, like day one was fast day. Day two was feast day three. Okay. So day four is when I started to crave the fast. So I was craving my next fast day. That was good. I haven't felt that in a long time. Um, what else? Having these lives was actually really helpful. If I didn't, honestly, I'm going to be honest with you. If I didn't do these lives, I would have failed by now. Not even going to lie to you. Not even lying to you. If I did not do the lives, I would not have done the challenge. So that's, that's full transparency. I would not. <laughs> I had, because I was showing up on camera every day, I had to have full accountability and because you had me to tune into, um, you know, I kept you distracted at, at the worst time of the day for fasters. Like now, today's a fast day for me. And if you're fasting as well, it's a fast day for you. Um, if you like the lives, you know, give me a like. And what else? I realized a lot of... Um, I guess like I was slimming down, like I could feel myself slimming down. I could see myself slimming. Like I, cause it's always in the face that I could tell whether I'm gaining or losing weight. And when I felt like my cheeks were less puffy, I was like, oh, something's happening, something's happening. I love that. Mm, what else? Did I feel anything else? I love checking in on the ADF group on Facebook and having them I want to post. I can't blow up people. I just opened my Facebook app and this one. Woo. All right. I'm, oh, Ethel, Ethel, if you could see me, please just like, I want to just, 
can I just shout you out real quick? I know Ethel, I just opened this and then this woman, this is um her before and after. She um and she's five nine. All right. She's slimmed down a lot in the waistline. Um, her starting weight is 268, 270. Her current weight is 239. And her goal weight is 199. Go Ethel. If you guys are not part of the ADF group, we are buzzing in there, okay? And this live just started a whole monster. <laughs> These lives are having everyone go hard. People post funny things. Somebody said, if I'm hungry, nothing's funny and everyone's ugly. That's hilarious to me because it's true. Just want to throw a phone at somebody's ugly face when you're on a fast. Sometimes it's just like, <gasps> wait till I get into my ketosis. But until then, I hate you. <laughs> like some Oh, there are points where you get like on a fast day for me, there are points where I get like angry. I get angry because there's, I, I get frustrated. I can't eat and I feel uncomfortable and I get angry. I'm glad I don't have anybody around that experience it, but I can, you, let me know if you've experienced the same thing. If it's that time of the month and your body wants like food, just unless you're menstruating, if it's the week before your bleed, just forget about fasting. But if um, you're bleeding, you could fast. You're fine. Um, so yeah, I, my next goal, like currently I weighed in at 188. I started at 194. I didn't change my diet. I probably could have lost seven pounds in seven days if I had a better Saturday. My Saturday, I was so ill and I had Chinese food, which probably caused a little sodium retention. Um, I was I stayed on the couch the entire day, unapologetically. But that could have been a better day. And yeah, let's see. Who's fasting today? Move and detox your body. Yes, ma'am. Wendy wants to be skinty like me. <laughs> mm, it's, the week before, it's the week before your period, so you decided to do a juice fast on your fast days. I also made sea moss gel to get my nutrients in before it starts. Great. I lost nine and a half pounds. That's Kimiko. Wonderful. I'm also fasting. Nancy lost seven pounds in seven days, y'all, and still going. Um, Yvonne started at 238 and weighed in at 228. She lost 11 pounds, y'all. Beautiful. What? Monica, you lost 16 pounds in seven days? Ma'am. Ma'am. Monica lost 16 pounds in seven days. You're welcome. I invented fast. <laughs> uh, Josie started at 219.5 pounds, lost 4.8 in seven days. Okay. Five pounds in seven days. On up day, do you track calories? I sure don't. I make sure everything I eat is nutrient dense though. Okay. So I make sure I focus on fats and protein and then balance it out with a slow digesting carb full of fiber and eat until I am done. If I don't want any more, I'll stop eating. If I want more, I'll have seconds. I respect my body on feast days because I'm refueling it. So if it wants more Brussels sprouts, I'm going to give it more Brussels sprouts. If it wants a piece more salmon, I'm going to give it more salmon. If it's had enough 
cauliflower rice, I'm going to push the cauliflower rice away. Okay. I just respect what my body's telling me. Um, it's okay to have multiple small meals throughout a feast day instead of three big old ones and stretching out your stomach. Like it's good to have, um, protein shakes. I don't get enough protein. I have to have protein. I just, I really don't get enough. Yeah. Fast Feast Repeat by Jen Stevens. I have a link to it below if you're interested. It's a must have. It teaches you how to clean fast and get to that next level of fasting. Um, you struggle with hyperthyroidism. Fasting might help you, Denise. You were doing the snake diet. I've never heard of that. It was on my third day of dry fasting, and after I saw your video, I decided to change the ADF. I don't want my body to think I'm starving it. What's the snake fast, Kimberly? I look like Megan the Stallion. Yeehaw. Eh. <laughs> I've heard that before. It's either Serena Williams, Megan the Stallion, or some lady from some Tyler Perry movie. I'll take them. I'll take it. Oh, I've also heard I look like Savannah James. Which I could see that. Savannah James is LeBron James's wife. She's a lovely lady. And she looks so youthful. She's really pretty. I see so many questions being asked in the Facebook group that are answered in the fast face. Got the book because you recommended it for the June. Wow, the June 20, 2022 challenge. I'm glad you got it. It really, I'm telling you, if you want to know how to fast, you need to know why fasts work. And you need to know the mechanics of the science of why, how a fast works in your body. Just don't dive into a fast like, okay, I'm going to starve myself. No, that's wrong. It's not a starvation. You are fasting. You are healing. Find out how it works. Get you a book. Either or is fine. If you have Jason Fung's The Obesity Code, get your hands on some content about mechanics of feasting, please. Um, even if you listen to a video, a long interview by a licensed professional, not some lady on the internet named Colleen. Okay. You need to know why it works and the science and what your hormones are doing and when it'll happen and what to expect. And you could thwart all your sabotaging efforts. Okay. The lives are so helpful, girl. I didn't realize how helpful they were until I just might do lives on fast days. <laughs> uh, I aim to do three lives a week now. That's the aim because I do have some topics I want to talk about, but I did want to make the results video because what good is a seven day challenge without the results? So I'm doing this to ha have anybody that's watching, like encourage them um, inspire them. Is it okay to mix ADF with 16, eight fasting or will that mess everything up? If you're doing ADF, you don't need another fasting protocol. ADF is the fasting protocol. I see so many questions. Okay. Yeah. Yes. You were my accountability partners. Choose joy. Yeah, there's some crazy weather going on right now. It's a whole rainstorm right in New York today. Colleen, I congratulated you on your triangular victory. My triangular victory. That went over my head. My triangular victory. What does that mean? On my triangular victory. Oh, see, I knew I would catch on. I'd be like, what? Throw your diamonds in the sky. <laughs> so what this means is that's the space in between your pum pum and your thighs and your 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 just you know that little. If you look at the picture, you'll know. But you see that little diamond shape you create when you start losing weight between the. It's basically a thigh gap, but it looks like this before it becomes like to uh, the rock. Okay. That's enough. We get it. Following you during the seven day challenge, you inspired me to start ADF. 
Oh, you started your first fast day yesterday. Congratulations. Welcome to the club. I'm going to be, honestly, I'm going to be start talking about some self-worth stuff. Talking about why we got fat in the first place, why we don't love ourselves. <laughs> Not to say that you don't love yourself, but sometimes we say we love ourselves and are doing things that prove otherwise. So I'm going to start talking about that kind of stuff. I just want to be an overall motivational coach. Not to admonish or teach per se, but to use my experience to help either like inspire you. Because it was through somebody else's experience that... I was able to leave a relationship that was not at all healthy. And if she didn't share it, I don't like, you know, you just watch some things and it just makes it like it changed your life. So I have to share. I have to share. I went through all of this so I could teach. And experience is real. Experience is a real thing. You started your first fast day, but it was hard. Yeah, it's simple, but it's not easy. On fast days, I need a nap. Yes, I. me too, Miss Ashley. I get an attitude, but only I can tell. <laughs> I like that. That's how it should be. Nobody should be like, you know, getting the wrath of your fasting anger. Like, it's not fair. They didn't ask for this. Um, you're 5'10", currently trying to get down to your high school weight. Fasting has been the best thing to happen to me. Yeah. You know who else um, looks great and has been fasting if you follow her? Haley, Haley Gamba. Haley discovered fasting, and she's been on a weight loss journey, like, up and down for years. And I believe she does 24, and she looks fantastic. She just reached her goal weight of 150 and she's looking skinty. And, you know, she, we both have something in common right now where we stopped heavy lifting and ended up getting leaner because of it. Um, there is a certain, you get, people want to say women don't get bulky weightlifting. And it's not that you don't get bulky that you get bulky. It's just that like you, you need to focus more on fat loss in order to enjoy those muscle gains. But you're also while muscle gaining, you're hungry. So it's like you strength train and you get hungry and you eat in a surplus and have this layer of fat over this new muscle. So you never look quite lean. But once you stop, then, you know, your hunger just kind of normalizes and you're just left with this like leaner body. Um, I, yeah, I don't know if I'll go back to heavy strength training. Okay. Heavy is the key word. Everybody should be doing some form of resistance training, whether it's body weight, bands, a two pound dumbbell, um, and it's up to you if you want a heavy strength train. It helped, It did wonders for my legs, which were lanky and skinny and needed it. <laughs> I needed it. But I feel like it raised my cortisol too much. It just felt so stressful. I don't want to do anything stressful anymore. If, if you are not, like, if, it, if you dread it, it's not good. Anything that you dread is not good. Now, something you know you need to be doing then just buckle up buttercup and do it. But if you're like, oh no, I don't want to. Uh, don't do it. Do, do some yoga. Do a little ab, a little workout. Go walking. I'm telling you, walking is the most underrated form of ac exercise. And it does the most wonders. Renee lost five pounds in six days on alternate day fasting. Jalissa lost 20 pounds a while back, and she's going to keep going. <laughs> Elevate with T is down seven pounds. Her heart rate is kind of high. I know what you mean. 
beware of the coffee. If you're taking in coffee, beware of that. Um, Lily Dimples lost six pounds and still going. Myst Mystic Phi lost 10 pounds in seven days. Saray lost eight pounds. Um, that's what I thought, Grace. And it's not to say that, like, Serena and I aren't, like, you know, pretty. It's just, like, I don't feel like I look like her. I don't know. I think it's because of our builds. Like, I feel like if somebody just saw my face, they wouldn't say that. But it, because they see my build, like, I'm built like an athlete, that's when they say it. I'm like, damn, you, you play some kind of track or sport or something. I'm like, no, I'm too clumsy. I really have no coordination. A waste of height. I'm 5'10", by the way. Congratulations, Jelia, for completing your challenge. Alex is back on ADF. She uses a lick of salt to tame her fasting cravings. Yes. Oh, um, around 5 p.m. it triggered me to throw up. Whoa. Maybe like a dab. You don't have to do a lot. If you if you did too much, it's probably like look into Element, the the electrolyte L M N T on Amazon. I have a link in my description box. Maybe try that if salt makes you gag. Naya, you still get. She looks like Serena Williams too. Yeah, I'm gonna try to do these lives on fast days. Hi, G. Ellis. Welcome. I'm glad you finally caught it. I read fast, feast, repeat first, obesity code, and you're currently reading fast like a girl. She has read the holy trinity of fasting content. Okay. Sunshine. Beautiful. I do need to get into the obesity code because I need to school my mama. Please do videos on fast days. Gotta pay me. <laughs> I increased my fiber intake and it has been a game changer. Let me, I'll be right back. Hold on, hold on. Okay, y'all. I had to just like, because it, is, it really is a game changer. And according to an article, some medical study, like it's not absorbed. So the calories don't count. So if they say it don't count and it came from a medical professional, I'm, I'm going to have it. <laughs> I, I use Bellway. Bellway sent me these two years ago, maybe a year ago. I hope it's a year ago because... Yeah, so these are expired, but I'm still taking it. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Wow, it's been a while since they sent me these because I have so many supplements that I just like, I don't have a chance to get through everything. But I take fiber on fast days because for one, it helps me prevent jaundice, which was a reason I stopped fasting in the first place. I have an underlying condition that doesn't process bile properly, okay? That's more than likely a liver issue or some kind of chromosomal issue that just doesn't allow for proper, proper bile removal. And so, you know, I, I easily get high cholesterol. Um, I've had high cholesterol since I was three, my mom said. So it's something genetic within me. And fasting triggered this um, underlying condition and the bile built up in my blood, which caused my eyes to get yellow, okay? When you have fiber, if you, like I've heard of people that experience that while fasting. Um, when you have fiber, what fiber does is it detoxes. Fiber is like a detox. And this is Bellway, Metamucil, Colon Broom, whatever. I have a few 
suggestions in the description box. You can have this. What is this? Um, one scoop is 25 calories. And they suggest a half a scoop if you are on your first three days and a full scoop one to three times a day. I will have like one a day, one full scoop a day. And if I remember, maybe I'll have two. But this has prevented me from experiencing jaundice because this is psyllium husk, which is in this. It's a um, it's made of insoluble fiber. And insoluble fiber does not break down. And it makes you feel full. It makes you feel full because it's like a powder. And when it mixes with water, it turns into a gel. And that gel just clears out all the sludge out your system. A lot of us don't get enough fiber anyway. So that's another thing. Unless you're eating like four or five potatoes a day, you're not getting enough fiber. Um, and because it isn't digested, they say the calories don't count. And it's intermittent fasting friendly. So if you're interested, I have to take this. Like this is a supplement for me. It's not like a drink or an enjoyment. Like this is my supplement. I have to take my supplements. I take all my supplements. Um, so this is the raspberry lemon. And this is lemon lime. You can have Metamucil. Just make sure it's made of psyllium husk. So yes, Natasha. That is a big deal. She doesn't even get hunger pangs on her fast days. You fell asleep. You forgot about the princess going live. I love you, Queen of the South. If you if you fell asleep, you deserved it. You you and you get all the rest you need. Have I ever plateaued on ADF? If so, what did you do? No, I have never plateaued on ADF. I never. The only time I plateaued is when I stopped. I have never plateaued. And even if I did plateau, I had a plan. So I, I always told, I went into it with a plan. I was like, okay, I'm going to do this with no diet, no exercise changes. I ended up exercising anyway because I love exercising. But I was like, okay, once I stop losing weight this way, then I'm going to clean up my diet and add more exercise. I think it was exercise and then once I needed to get to the next level, I was going to clean up the diet. I hit my goal weight. Well, not my goal weight, but I hit 67 pounds and I was like, all right, I like how I look. Hi, Colleen. Thank you so much. I started ADF last year after I started watching your videos and I'm down 20 pounds. But I took a break in December, but now it's rough to start back. I have some videos about how to restart. Yeah, how so you fell off fasting was the title on the, the thumbnail. So you fell off fasting. Okay. That should be helpful. I have a whole plethora of videos to that I probably addressed everything. People want feast and fast vlogs. I'm sorry. I don't see that happening anytime soon. I just, I have no willpower. I have no, as I said, I told you, if it's hard, I don't want it. And I don't want to edit. Like nothing about me wants to edit. And so I'm in my soft girl era right now. I'm not, I can't. I just started classes again. Is all you're going to get out of me right now. And I hope it's enough. I pray it's enough. Crazy how much alcohol can change your face. Yeah, that's why it's dry January. I hope nobody been drinking. Um, if you want to drink, drink a mocktail. I came across Haley the other day through her sobriety video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That inflammation, people underestimate the power of inflammation. They just think they're fat. Usually they're inflamed because you could lose weight and your face will still look like a chipmunk. You could lose weight and your joints will still hurt. You could lose weight and you'll still have this belly pooch. And you're wondering why I'm doing everything. You're inflamed. If you're having processed food and alcohol, you're going to have inflammation and sugar. 
which which alcohol is a cup of sugar. If you could reduce inflammation, you will lose weight. And that's why fasting works. Even if you just wanted to follow a non-inflammatory diet, you will lose weight without fasting. Anything that d- reduces or takes away inflammation, great. If you are exercising too hard, you're inflaming your body. And that's not to say don't go hard or go home, but just expect that. There's people that exercise six, seven days a week, and they're always in pain. Their knees are always puffy. They they never feel good. They toss and turn and, and always feel it. That's inflammation. Stop inflaming yourself. You're doing too much. Inflammation is a big deal. And I don't think it's I, I don't think it's talked about enough. Inflammation. Inflammation is the difference maker because I could lose weight, right? I could lose the same six pounds that I lost in that seven days and my face would not look sculpted. I like that you brought that up, um, Cammie the Stallion, because Haley in her videos, she brought up that she's lost weight numerous times. And this is Haley Gamba I'm talking about. She has like maybe 650,000 subscribers on YouTube. She recently just lost weight, but she's been losing weight for years. She's been on exercise um, programs. She's been on diets, but it's own. And she said she's lost weight, but she's only experienced her face weight loss. Her face truly finally sculpted when she started fasting. It's because she reduced inflammation. She's no longer um, heavy strength training. She took, she's taking it easy. And she finally got that sculpted face. And she looks wild different. She looks wild different. She no longer has a double chin. Her jaw is a lot more snatched. And she finally has cheekbones. And I didn't even think she could achieve that. I thought she just naturally had a round face. Like a dumpling face. You ever seen somebody with like a dumpling face? I have a dumpling face but I'm usually inflamed. When I'm not inflamed, she be sculpted. Dumpling face are people like, people that have very soft skin. Like I, I have poor skin elasticity. So my, my skin is thin. My, my youngest son also has dumpling face where we just look mushy. We just, I know it's weird, but if you know, you know. The Snake Diet is a channel here on YouTube. He created the Snake Juice. While wow. dry fasting for 48 hours or longer if a person is very overweight. It's interesting. You look so good. I think that's the power of fasting too. Thank you, Kate. You. You think I look good now? You gonna see good before spring. <laughs> I dropped about 15 pounds in the past month doing three day dry fasts. Make sure whatever y'all doing is something y'all could keep up. That's all I ask. Okay. Here's another point. Once again, this isn't the fasting Olympics. I, I really love that she said that. This isn't the fasting Olympics, and it's not to say that um, three-day fasts aren't good. It's that the faster you lose it, the faster it has the chance to come back. So ADF is not a long-term solution, okay? You're not going to do ADF for the rest of your life. What you're going to do is either A, you'll throw in a fast day here and there to maintain, or B, you've learned how to have normal calories throughout your daily life. Okay. So that calorie calculator that calculates how much it is to lose, maintain, and gain. If you could eat daily at your maintenance calories every day, you don't have to ever fast again. A lot of people heal that binge eating through fasting. 
understand emotional eating, you know, my nails are gone and I just feel like a man, like, oh, I have to redo them. Which one should I do, white or black? I think it's black. Mm. I have to do black before the winter's over because I ain't doing it in spring. Anyways, so this isn't the fasting Olympics. Don't, slow and steady wins the race. It's not that you guys, um, it's not that you want to, um, how would I word this? You're going to lose the weight. You just want to do it fast, right? And ADF is already intense. ADF is an intense protocol. ADF is probably the last, like one of the last, like 48 is the max before it starts turning into extended fasting. But 48, 36, 24, OMAD, they're all still part of the intermittent fasting family. So if you're like one step under 48, which is 36, you're doing it. You're doing a lot. Like eating every other day is, is a, is a big jump. So why do you, why do you want to go harder? Like what satisfaction, what is it just to get it faster off? But you have to think like, am I going to be able to maintain this? Can you maintain that if you're doing it so hard and going so hard? Are you going to burn yourself out? You know, in a microwave society, we want to press start and already be at our goal weight. It doesn't work that way. And that's why I said, you're not entitled to weight loss. If you could understand that, like, and when I say you're not entitled, you're not entitled every single week to weight loss. You're not entitled every single um, weigh-in to weight loss. If you lose it, great. That's wonderful. If you could see it, even better. If you could feel it, you're doing leaps and bounds above most. Um, but, you know, like I love trying on an outfit that didn't fit. And just seeing if it fits a little bit more. Like that is my favorite way to test progress, showcase progress. Like trying on something that cannot fit. That's fun to me. Like, oh my God, it went over my hips this time. <gasps> I was able to zip it. <gasps> oh my gosh. You know, that's exciting. That's exciting to me. Do that. Because if we're using the scale, we're going to go harder and enter fasting Olympics to see who could lose 10 pounds in three days for no reason. Like, it's, it's not as, like that. Unless you're doing it for health, by all means. But if you're doing it for weight loss, it'll backfire. It'll backfire. What if you had a hard time getting in all your calories on feast days? I lift heavy, but because my stomach has shrunk, it's hard to eat a lot past 1,500 calories. You might want to um, save that heavy lifting for another time when you're closer to your goal weight. I didn't start heavy lifting until I was close to my goal weight or at least when I wanted to stop. I got to a point where, okay, I'm comfortable here. And then I started heavy lifting. I didn't do it at the beginning. I wanted to lose as much weight first as I could. And then um, I started heavy lifting because at that point I wasn't tied to the scale anymore. Um, but on, when you're heavy lifting, you're going to need ample calories because heavy lifting is only productive if you have a surplus of calories. If you don't have that surplus, all you're doing is damaging your joints. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry to say. So if you're doing ADF and can't even reach 1500 calories on your feast day, put, put the weights away. It's very counterproductive. I, and I, even reading that back, I hope you understand that because like you could, if you have to ask, you already know, like that's just sounds wild. 
and there's no and there's no world where heavy lifting and ADF and 1500 calories can exist it, okay Yeah, Serena is a Kirby, Kirby lady. She's living my hypergamous life right now. Can't wait to meet my Ohanian. <laughs> you see how I got dressed for work, y'all? I'm looking like Princess Diana. Five pounds down. Ew, we love that for you, Queen of the South. Slow digesting carbs are anything that um, they're usually full of fiber. The, the least processed carbohydrate source. So that would include potato, like potatoes. I know they get a bad rap for some reason, maybe because they're delicious, but they're only delicious when you pile it with cream and cheese and all kinds of butters. But if you have a baked potato, for one, they are very low, low calorie. They're low fat. And they're high fiber, high potassium, slow digesting, high, sati high satiation factor. Potatoes are an ideal carbohydrate, if you ask me. And they're not heavy on the stomach. I love uh, potatoes are demonized. That's so weird to me. They're only like... Mm. Um, sweet potatoes are slow digesting. Brown rice is slow digesting. Anything that's not processed, that's a carbohydrate source, is a slow digesting carb. Increase your fiber intake by having more carbs with fiber in it. Because meat doesn't have fiber. Fruits have fiber. Um, like pears, apples have fiber. Fiber supplement. Yeah, I, I didn't say Jill Bear syndrome because, you know, I didn't feel like explaining it, but <clears throat> my doctor has yet to test me on it but she says it does fall into one of those categories. She said Gil, um, Jill Bears, I, I don't know if it's Jill Bears or Gilberts, but she said that or something else would be the syndrome I have. Thank you so much, Colleen. Would not have been able to get through this challenge without your support from these lives. Claire is down seven pounds and counting from the ADF challenge. Say yes, Joyous is going strong. Soup made it to the live. Welcome. Nicole is down nine pounds and she's out of the 200s and welcome her to Wonderland. Congratulations, Nicole. Soup is down seven pounds. Hi, Paola. Paolo. Paolo, right? You run your 5K training faster than any, wow. Yeah, fasted training is, is intense. I'm telling you that fat for fuel hits different. Christine, you're fasting today, me too. This is the distraction live. <laughs> 150, here I come. 150, where I come. Princess. Yes, yeah, somebody called. Dr. Ken Berry has a video on bile oxalate that you may want to watch. You know, I've taken milk thistle. I've taken ox bile. I've um, liver. I found that the fiber, probably the most effective. for that. Yeah, I've I've been it's been like what two years now? It's been a while. It's been a while. I found the fiber the most helpful. Um fiber is good for 
your digestion. Fiber is good for clearing out excess estrogen. Fiber is good at clear, um, helping high cholesterol. Um, it's good for clearing out your colon. Fiber has a lot of benefits. You just have to make sure you drink a good amount of water. Say yes, Joyous lost eight pounds in seven days and got out of the 300s. Hallelujah. This headband is like going to take my life. Ooh. Um, <laughs> felt like I was dying. Where do you announce challenges? I usually announce them in the YouTube community tab and in the ADF Facebook group. I usually do like one a quarter, maybe three a year. I like to make sure I start off the New Year's with a challenge. I'll probably do one in like May before summer. I'll do one at fall. Those are like my main ones. Yeah, I'll do like a September challenge. Was, honestly, I do like three, but feel free to link up with each other and do more. People want me to do um, seven day challenges every month. doesn't hurt. I have to think about it. That it, that feels like a commitment I don't want to make. Somebody had emailed me told, telling me to start charging for my, my challenges. <laughs> and I had the membership where I did like specific lives and like charge for those. Like a lot of these people in my live right now, a lot of you guys were my members and that's why I know like Ankita, um, a lot. Yeah. And when I have to charge for something, it just takes the joy out of it. It starts putting pressure on me. Um, I start like start resent anything that I enjoy and I start charging for, I end up resenting. Um, people used to commission me for artwork. I, I hated it and it made me like almost hate drawing. So if I do it, it's just out of joy for it. And I, if you want to donate, I always take donations, but I, it's like, I can't charge. I don't even want to do sponsorships. Like anything that I'm forced to do, I want nothing to do with it. So that's why I'm scared to like commit. Don't tell that to my future man. I notice when I eat on my feast day that my jaw and mouth hurt from chewing. Is that normal? You might be grinding your teeth at night. I know this is weird, but I have a Theragun, and a Theragun is a massage gun, but it's like the mini one. When I was going through a stressful time in my life, I used to grind my teeth. Every so often, I will use the Theragun to massage my masseters. It's called your masseters. If you open your mouth and it hurts, you um, are more than likely like either grinding or clenching your jaw during sleep, use one of those massagers on the, the lightest setting. Massage your masseter. Not only does it help relieve that in, immensely, like to the point where like you don't have headaches and stuff, um, it also takes away the heaviness. Like my face shape changed. When I was biting my jaw, like, it was like becoming a lot more manly and just massaging my jaw, maybe like once a month with the massage gun, it just softened my jaw and made it look a lot more feminine. So instead of like a square, it's more of like a diamond. Who knew? While you're late, Bianca, where were you? You know you my girl. <laughs> Margaret lost seven pounds without working out. Welcome to the club. Welcome to the club. We ain't working now. We ain't working now. I also decided to cut out sugar and processed food. I attempted to eat a fig cookie on feast day. My stomach was in pain. Yes. Processed foods just do not hit the same on feast day. Chuck it out the window and eat what you crave, which is health. Your body wants health because after it's been depleted for a day, it just wants those nutrients back, and those nutrients are not in processed foods. 
I think I fasted too much and it's not working as well for me. I was on OMAD for six months before I started ADF. I plateau on OMAD, so that's what made me try this ADF challenge. Yeah, um, they in the um, in these books, and especially like if you're gonna get one, get Fast Feast Repeat. I I don't have her first book, which is Delay Don't Deny, but she has in the back of it. Um, frequently asked questions and almost an entire chapter for uh, plateaus, like if you plateau. The FAQ section is quite wonderful because it really answers FAQs. Like so many questions that you guys ask me are answered. So if you're interested in fast feast repeat, I have a link down below. It'll take you to Amazon. Go get it. I don't know if they have it digitally, but having the book to refer to is amazing. Does vaping, chewing tobacco, and smoking break the fast? Who knows? Um, does communion break the fast? Like all kind of little things that you would never think about, but then like when you're confronted with it, you're like, oh my God, does this break my fast? And when you're clean fasting, like this matters, you know, can I split up my day into two eating windows? My window is closing and I'm not hungry. Should I eat more food now? So I won't be hungry later. All these things. Wow. Like these are, I already closed my window for a day, but I'm starving. What should I do? Can I have a cheat day? How do I explain what I'm doing to my children? I accidentally tasted food or sipped a non-compliant beverage during fast. What do I do? What should I do about my medications and supplements? Do they break the... All frequently asked questions. The entire back chapter of this book is FAQs. Get this book, please. Like, I, I didn't, honestly, I didn't even get do the FAQs because I read and what I needed to and stopped. I didn't even get to this. Like, this is amazing. What is the best thing to eat when I open my eating window? Should I count calories, carbs? Like all these questions you guys ask me are in the back of this book. That's amazing. How can I make sure I get in all my daily calories with a shorter eating window? Why am I binging as soon as I open my eating window? Do I need to worry about not getting enough nutrients since I'm eating less food? Y'all, these are too common. Like, and... This is amazing. And she breaks it down into um, different subjects of FAQs. So one should be like, who, who should be fasting and who should not? General questions. Can I have blank while fasting as a section? Food choices and nutrition, right? So that's what all the eating questions came from. Medical questions. I feel shaky, nauseous during the fast. What should I do? What do I do if I have constipation and diarrhea? That's a common one you guys ask me all the time. I've noticed I'm losing hair. What's going on? Another common one. She also covers exercise. What is the best time of the day to work out? Can I take pre-workout? Somebody asked me that before. I'm worried I'm not getting enough protein during my eating window. You just asked me that. Like you, I... Don't I need a lot of protein to build muscle? So she could ask answer that. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm learning just like you. Okay. Tracking progress. Why am I losing clothing size but no pounds on the scale? I I I'm, I keep reading because I'm amazed at how much she covers, and I didn't even know. Why do I get so tired after breaking my fast? I want to take a nap. I get really hot after I eat. Why am I so cold during the fast? Which is something I hear a lot. This is very interesting. Help, I can't sleep. What can I do? She answers that. This is something I actually need to know because every year that I fast, my cholesterol gets higher. It's actually the highest it's ever been. Why is my cholesterol higher now than before I started IF? So I'm going to read that after I finish talking to you guys because um, 
I'm slimmer than I ever was, and my cholesterol is the highest it's ever been, which is like what 260. The lady put me on a statin and everything, but I know it's because of the fasting and that bile buildup. So yeah, once again, that's Fast Feast Repeat by Jen Stevens. Get you a guide, honey. Get you a book that could answer the things that I research, but don't know everything to. I'm thirsty. I'm vanilla, baby. I'll choke you, but I ain't no killer, baby. Okay. You've been doing it for one month. It was hard. I used to do the 18th fast, but now I eat and crave chocolate and some carbs. I didn't weigh yet. That sounds like you're, you're the week before your period. If you're craving chocolate, you want magnesium. Do you think thick legs are inflammation too? If it's your, if it's your joints, such as your ankles and knees, yes. Unless it's a condition like lipedema. Lipedema is um, you get like trunk legs and a lot of cellulite. That is a condition. Okay. Yeah. Inflammation, inflammation causes so many problems and it's so underrated. Does fasting helps help Crohn's disease? I don't know, Renee, but you might find out in this book. More than likely, like, I, I can't think of anything fasting doesn't help unless you are one of the people that shouldn't be fasting. I can't think of anything fasting does not help. Fasting is, uh, it's literally meant for healing. People have honestly, like, reversed cancer cells from it. So I can't imagine it wouldn't help Crohn's disease. Yeah, girl, Bianca lost 12 pounds on the seven-day challenge. My girl lost 12 pounds. Wow. Wow, we wonder. Hi, Farid. Farid is like one of the three men <laughs> in this place. Um, three-day fasts are best for healing your body. Yes. Quarterly three-day fasts are, are good unless you have, like, something you really need to heal. Don't use it for, like, weight loss. Three-day fast is really if you want to, like, restart the system or you're healing yourself. You don't need to be doing it every week and rolling 72s and all that. It's not necessary. When I heard this isn't the fasting Olympics, that just clicked for me. I'm not going to do three day, three dry fast forever. So thank you for your videos. Oh, my pleasure. Like you don't have to do that to yourself at all. You'll get there. I promise you. We, we all just need a little bit more patience with ourselves. We didn't gain it overnight. You know, we did not gain it overnight. You can't expect to lose it overnight. Have you ever heard that fast cleans your bowels, but when you get down to the last cleanse, the bowel movement is very hard. I know there is 21 feet of intestines. Um, that's interesting. That's interesting. In my, from my brain, what I'm thinking is like, if you're not eating, so say you go on a, a maybe a 72 hour fast, and you stop eating, right? And I know the intestine naturally pushes stuff out, but I'm like, if food isn't going in, like, doesn't it stop moving? So like, how do you get the, the cleanse? If food isn't pushing the old stuff out, new food in isn't pushing the old stuff out. That's my brain. I guess I'm just like curious about how that works. 
Workouts to rid big back. I fasted Monday till today at one. I can't wait for tomorrow. Workouts to rid big back. Walking is awesome. Then when you get down near your goal, you start working on the, um, the cable machine. Do a shy girl workout on the cable machine. If you have access to a cable machine, it has every back workout you could want. And if not, get you two dumbbells, maybe like two eight pound dumbbells. Bring it inside your house and find one of these YouTube fitness influencers to follow. They on big and backs all day. <clears throat> Nancy Pierre lost six pounds. Wonderful. Fasting has been a game changer. Been doing 17-7. Okay. For two months and lost 13 pounds and three inches in my waist. I can't wait to see what ADF does for your body recomp. Oh, you'll see. Sea potatoes are great. Yeah, they are. They're not my favorite per se. I, I love a classic Idaho, but... Some people like really enjoy sweet potatoes. I don't, I just can't get into the texture. Can't get into the texture. What do you think? Um, what do you drink on fasting days? I have water, I have coffee, unflavored. I might splash some like milk, some plant based milk in there. I'll have tea. I'll sip lots of hot tea. I love hot, I enjoy hot liquids on fast days. Um, I could have my supplements, which is my fiber supplement. If you have electrolytes, you could have that. Okay. You have a plethora of choices. If you're enjoying it too much, it's wrong. You're not supposed to be enjoying anything on your fast day. Just exist. All right. Find something to do. Chew some gum. That's like two calories per piece made of xylitol. And don't swallow. That's what she said. Uh, are you doing a three-day fast now? No. No. Rest day for me today and loving the way I feel. I love ADF. I know. I If it wasn't for you guys, I don't know what I'd be doing right now. Like counting the hours to fall asleep so I could put myself out of my misery, honestly. I wanted to go to Walmart later, but the way it's raining, I've been wanting to go to Walmart, like Aldi or Walmart for the past two days. And I just like, after work, I just don't feel like it. And tomorrow I have training, new management orientation for like eight hours. So I can't even sneak out the class. And I have my kids. I had to make sure I have food in the house so my babies can eat. Something's got to give. I might still go out to Walmart after this live. There's no better feeling than losing weight. I feel like on top of the world when I'm on my best. Have you ever noticed that? <laughs> Maybe it's just me. I can watch other people's weight loss journeys easier, or I could watch weight loss content easier when I'm actually doing well on mine. Like before, when I was like eating poorly and like not feeling great about myself, I would just like skip over. Like any content I had to do with like, I lost 60 pounds and I, I did this and uh, how to eat health. I just skip over that content. But when like I'm actually doing a good job in my weight loss journey, I just be watching their content and be like, yeah, girl, yeah, girl, I feel that. Because I guess there's no more like guilt, shame. I don't know if anybody can relate to that. When you're not doing what you're supposed to, you don't want to hear nothing about it. Basically like that.
Ankita. Say my name, say my name. I have lost about 60 pounds. What I love about ADF is looking forward in the future. I'm confident that I will know how to lose weight if I ever put it, put it back on. That is another, yeah, that's a big deal, actually. It's like, you know the secret. It's really the cheat code, if you ask me. Like, there's, that's the cheat code. You know, other than, like, getting a shot weekly <laughs> or taking a pill, ADF is the cheat code. Because you know it works. You know, and once you like decide you're going to start again, there's no stopping you. You just do what you need to do. Hopefully you don't have to restart over from scratch, but at least you know the formula. And no matter the age, it works. It's not like, oh, you exercise to this this size or you, you low carb to this size. You just refrain from eating, which is healing at any age, unless you're like breastfeeding, pregnant, or teenager. If you're like in your 60s, eat up them free radicals. Fasting will just replenish you, make your skin glow, get that autophagy going, clear up your system, make you more youthful and spry. Hey, Naima, welcome. What's your makeup routine? Is it quick? I like it. You look great. Thank you. I do put on extra for live. My go-to every day for work is um always got to do concealer because I look like the walking dead if I don't. I use pencil eyeliner because liquid I find is just too harsh and it's in brown. Put on a little brow. I just trace underneath the bottom and then like little few little lines and I don't like heavy brows and I use um boy brow by Glossier to like get it standing up I use my lash serum so I don't need to depend on um falsies so I love the essence mascara it's been like my go-to lately so those are my lashes I love blush so I always put on some blush and depending on what I'm wearing, I'll put on some lipstick. I did link the lips of the night today. So if you want to check that out. It's it's very simple. If I wear a lot of makeup, I look manly. It never fail. It never I can't wear foundation. Like I, I stop wearing foundation. Um, when I wear foundation, I look manly. It never fails. It never fails. I don't know why. I just look, I my my face can't handle it. It's the flamboyant natural in me. Like I'm supposed to be as minimal as possible, but I do like enhance what I can. But if you're a tall girl, I don't know. I feel like tall girls just can't take a lot of makeup. We just be looking like contestants on RuPaul's Drag Race. Like a good example of that, that viral short I made, I'm um, talking about, what's her name? Megan the Stallion. She looks stunning with little to no makeup. And she looks draggish with a lot. Uh, and it's not to knock makeup. It's just her face doesn't carry heavy makeup well. Does it look good on camera? Yes. If you saw me in person right now, you'd be like, what the hell is wrong with your face? But on camera, it translates well. But she looks stunning with light or natural makeup. But you know, entertainers be like. You're so beautiful. Love your videos and greeting from Germany. Thank you, Hannah V. Hi, Tasha. I want goodie. Where I been? I missed one day. Yeah, just, yeah. I was on Sunday. And yeah, I don't need to come on feast days. This is my face stuffing time. I'm only on because I don't have nothing better. <laughs> I don't have nothing better to do. <laughs> I love you guys. But um, yeah, this is just the distraction live. Like I'm just here to 
keep me and you distracted until bedtime. Because I'm fasting. I think I think I really have to go to Walmart. What time is Walmart closed? I'm sorry, y'all. I don't even like going to Walmart because they are too expensive. I never thought I would see the day Walmart got so expensive. I've, we used to travel all the way to Walmart to get the best deals. Now, you pick up a box and it's $5. I'm like, the hell? Aldi, never mind. But there's certain things I have to get from Walmart I can't get from Aldi. You know, there's certain brands you need in a brand. You can't just have it like, <laughs> you know, generic. Okay, what time are they closing? 11? Okay, yeah, I have to go. I have to go to Walmart tonight. What time Aldi closed? I'm sorry. I'm just like checking things really quickly. Aldi already closed, honey. Like, <sighs> upstate life. I swear to Jesus. They close at 8. So Walmart it is. Get everything I need and come on me yard. Um... Top three men in here. <laughs> Farid, you're so funny. I haven't seen any benefits for PCOS symptoms. I would love to know them. Have you been clean fasting? Let me know, Naya. And how long have you been fasting? I'm just curious. Like, how long has it been? Okay, let me know. Latasha lost eight pounds in seven days. What is your devoted supplement? Supplements I cannot live without. I have to have vitamin D. I have a um, D3K2 tincture, which is an oil I drop under my tongue. That's non-negotiable. need to have fiber now, especially since I'm ADFing again. Liquid. Liquid multivitamins are a must for me. I want to try, what is it? Something roots. I just need to get um, a liquid multivitamin. That is the next thing I want. Um, and iron. And iron. Yeah. As a menstruating woman, I'm not getting enough iron. So those are my go-tos. Here and there, I'll I'll definitely remember to have my magnesium. What else? I think that's it. I'll have stuff here and there. I love my collagen. I love my collagen. I love my collagen. Collagen peptides. Link to down below. Carmen lost seven pounds during the challenge. Aldi is closed. They have the audacity to send their workers home during a, a, a rainstorm like the roof is broken. <laughs> no, they closed at 8 p.m., so I missed that bus. Um, you're in Australia with family and friends, Alyssa? That's awesome. Or is it Eliza? I'm going to say Alyssa. You should set up grocery pickup after work. You know what I need to start doing? Some Instacart and have them drop it off. Soft life. I, I need to work smarter, not hard. Maybe that's what I'll do. I have never done that. I have never done laundry drop-off service. I have never done like grocery order service. Maybe these are things like, well, I don't, I have laundry in my house now, but I'm just saying like, people, you know, people pay things to do these, like work smarter, not harder. Um, hi, Rose. What's up? You prepping your overnight oats? That's a good idea. That's what I'm going to do. That's a good idea. I'm going to do the same. Thank you for the idea. I'm going to get some overnight oats. I might do some matcha oats. Do my caffeine and oats all in one. Yes, you can take a multivitamin on fast day. Yes, Mary Ruth. 
That's the name of it. That's what I want to try. Um, I hear wonderful things about it. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. If you have a liquid vitamin, it is going, 100% of it is going straight to your bloodstream. You're, you are absorbing 100% of the nutrients with any liquid um, vitamin or supplement. Okay, I have the, um, what is it? Curls, Blueberry Bliss, Liquid Hair, Skin, and Nail Vitamins. I'm trying to finish that up. So I've been taking that. Um, yeah, Instacart. Does Instacart, is it just for supermarkets or is it for Walmart? Every time trying and failing, can you please talk about journal guidelines to help? Um, so I usually just think about what's bothering me and start writing. And then usually it's like, a stream of consciousness ha happens and um, I end up writing like three pages worth. Um, the best, the best journal prompt I can suggest to you is how are you feeling? Go from there. How are you feeling? A lot of times we don't even stop and think about ourselves throughout the day. We're so busy, like go, 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 go. You don't even ask yourself that. So a, that's a great prompt to always start with because you need to start grounding yourself and start understanding um, how you're like tapping in, tap in. Like how, how are you, I'm going to ask you this. How are you feeling? Let me think about that question. Cause I haven't even asked my, myself that question. How am I feeling? I'm okay. Um, you know, I'm happy to be here with you guys. I'm a little cold. Um, I can't wait to see my boys tomorrow. You know, I'm a little anxious because I have school. I started school again. Like these are real feelings. Like, how are you feeling? I'm excited for the future. Like, I'm so excited for this year because I have purpose in it. I'm excited for the year. I'm anxious about school. I am thankful for you. I'm looking forward to what being on ADF will bring me this time. Like I, that's a great prompt to start with. How are you feeling? And when I say stream of consciousness, I mean that once you start writing, it just starts coming out and your consciousness starts streaming onto the paper. That's what I mean by stream of consciousness. I don't write with journal prompts. I just, I write to release whatever's in my brain so it stops bothering me. So if I know I have a million things to do and I don't put it on paper in a list, it's just going to float around my brain and be like a gnat. That I have to attack all day. Like, oh God, oh, am I doing, just write it down and then you'll see it on your paper and it gets out of your head. That's, that's how I attack journaling. Transference of energy off the brain onto paper. <sighs> <sighs> that's the feeling you should feel after journaling. <sighs> Whatever that is called. Give a, give a, my, adjective for that sound. Relief. There you go. Relief. <laughs> Instacart is from most stores that carry food. Walgreens. Huh. ADF and being on the carnivore diet. I hear people doing that. I, I don't like any diet that cuts out one food group. I'm sorry. Because it just reminds me of a diet. I don't want to be on a diet. I don't want to be on any diet. I want to eat what I want to eat at any time I'd like to eat it. Like, so my birthday, I want to have cake. If I go on vacation, I want to eat empanadas. I don't want to be on a diet because are you going to be on this diet forever? 
If you're going to be on it forever, kudos to you. I don't think your body would appreciate eating meat for the rest of your life. Um, so that's why I don't mess with diets because it's not something I'm going to stay on long. And I'd rather just eat every other day and um, eat what I like, eat till I'm content, make sure I'm getting the nutrients that I'm put on the earth for. And it's flexible. So if I don't want to fast one day, I could fast another day. Like, I don't know about these diets, y'all. If you want to clean up your carbohydrate, listen, take out sugar, process food. You're doing a world of wonder. Like all, already those two, you're killing the game. Alcohol. Sugar, processed food, alcohol. All right. I don't I don't know why people want to do the most. Um The best thing to do is just stop eating processed foods. I I is that attainable for most? No. Cuz we live busy lives and most of us need to warm up something in the microwave or enjoy some food that comforts the soul. I don't want to be gnawing on a beef stick in the name of carnivore. That's all I do, like just chomping on a, a beef stick. Watching Jeopardy. So satisfying. I don't know. It's up to you. It's really up to you. As long as it's long term for you, you know. As long as it's long term. Um, I eat what I want to eat too. I find it works. Yeah. And then when it stops working or you plateau, you just make some changes. It's not like a whole overhaul. You just be like, okay, so I'm going to cut this out and make sure I don't eat that as you should be anyway. Right. Okay. Let me stop eating popcorn at night. Start the weight loss again. All right. Let me make sure I don't have any more juice. Start the weight loss. Like these little things make a big difference. Like you don't have to overhaul your entire diet and lifestyle. The fasting does a lot. These little micro changes add up to big, big results. We just want it now o'clock. So bring on the steak, bring on the eggs, bring on the bacon. I'm going to live off that. I don't think it's healthy. I personally don't think it's healthy. I don't think we are naturally carnivores. We're, I definitely know we're omnivores, and I definitely know that we um, our, our primary food source were plants. And of course, when we had access to, when we our ancestors had access to, yes, they hunt they hunted meat, but was it their primary diet? No, no, no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It wasn't. Um, so that's what I think about carnivore. Cause I get that question a lot about carnivore. Bella, you like how cal calming I am? Thank you. That's funny. Colleen, I feel you should be Carl, what are you? <laughs> Indriago, what are you doing here? <laughs> that was my, that's so funny. What, what are you doing here? Um, hi, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I feel you should be wicked proud of the person you have become. All the adversities battled and you seem like you have found your purpose for sure. Keep it up. So happy for you. Thank you very much. That's awesome to hear. You know, my, that what's funny is you're still in my phone. And um, I, I like passed your number and I was like, huh, I wonder what he's up to. That, that was my boss. We, um, we used to do productions together when I was in the production world. And um, I miss production so much, but yeah, that's really cool. Thank you for tuning in. Donate. Thanks. 
um, on the fast day. And you know what's funny? He's the one that actually, Carl Indriago is the one that um, helped me go vegan. And I went vegan for a year. He told me to watch Forks Over Knives. And I ended up going vegan for a year. That's funny. Uh, the people you run into on YouTube. Um, on the fast day when you're having headaches or feel like you're going to pass out, what do you recommend? I recommend this book <laughs> because I, like, I am not a medical professional, but the, the fact that they have so many FAQs in the back of this book is wonderful. Okay. Okay. But I, I promise you, this is probably the guy to go to. And I didn't even write this book. I wish I could promote it myself so you could buy it because I just no one's paying me. I, I need I need compensation for how hard I'm writing for this book. Maybe one day I'll have my own. Who knows? Um Jennifer lost six pounds in seven days. Congrats, congrats. You missed the challenge. There's never such a thing as missing the challenge. You can the the PDF for the challenge is still in the um the description box down below. Jump in anytime. I had the daily lives to keep you guys encouraged. So, you know, do that. You could tune into them. Have Watch them on your fast days when you need that extra motivation. Um, you don't have to listen to them every day. You really don't need that motivation on a, a feast day. A fast day live will just help you push through it. Don't forget to look at people that are inspiring on your fast day. So you could kind of remember like your vanity. Why I want to look good. Like who doesn't want to look good? You are still in production. <laughs> I'm not in production anymore. I'm in technology. I was in technologies. Love your vibe in general, but you appear reserved and a little sad and tired. Yes, my love. It is the end of the day. Um, <laughs> it's the end of the day. I had a long day. I, I'm do, I'm going through a three day training at work right now. I'm new management orientation. I had to battle my way from Jersey to New York. Um, I'm fasted. I miss my children. I get to see them tomorrow. They come over tomorrow, so I'm excited. Um, and I. Just like you, I've been battling fasting insomnia. So I'm lucky if I go to bed before 12. I, I'm i lucky if I go to bed be before 12. That's why the concealer is mandatory because if I wipe it away, you'll run. <laughs> if I wipe away the concealer, you will run. I have to start going to bed early. When I tell you, though, a woman to woman... The best way to fall asleep. <laughs> a wink, wink, wink. Okay. I promise you, if you want to go to sleep quick, fast, in a hurry, for me, it never fails. The big O. Don't even have time to put the contraption back where it belongs. I just fall asleep just right there in the bed with it. Like TMI or no, but like. I just, I, it never fails. I go to bed immediately. So if you need help with that, you know, somebody got to do it. You look like you turn pinkish. Yeah, when I get riled up, I turn red easily. And I have a pink undertone. That's why pink is my favorite color because it looks wonderful on me. Oh, producing ADF success stories. You know it. How many calories you recommend and eat a day? Oh, I'm going to have to wrap it up, y'all. <laughs> it's already. Okay, 10 more minutes. We're going to end this at 9. 
all right? Um, go to caloriecalculator.net. Calculator I believe that's the one. Or any calorie calculator that provides you a weight loss calorie, a weight maintenance calorie, and a weight gain calorie, okay? As long as you get those three, um, I recommend on your feast day eating between your maintenance and your weight gain calories, okay? If you wanted a range. This is a guideline I made that just sounds appropriate for somebody that's going to eat for one day and fast for another. It is more than enough to function a full adult, okay? You don't eat under 2,000 calories on your feast days because it's just really not enough. It's barely enough if you are not fasting. So imagine you are fasting. So make sure you eat an appropriate amount of calories for your body weight and your lifestyle. And that's just my gauge between weight maintenance and weight gain calories. I think it's called caloriecalculator.net. Okay? Okay. Okay. How are you planning to do a live going forward? You miss me already. I'm still here. Like, I'm still here talking to you. Like, I didn't even, I didn't even go anywhere. Um, I just, as I said, I can't, I can't commit. <laughs> I can't commit yet. I want to do lives at least on fast days for me, but I do want to do lives three times a week. I want to give YouTube a chance to pick up the videos and the algorithm. And if I'm doing them back to back to back, it really doesn't have a chance they're just like inundated. The algorithm is does not favor heavy video promotions, if that makes sense. Um, that mainly works for people who are new. So a lot of newbies do like Vlogmas, a video every day, just to get their videos out there. But for like me, I'm almost at 100. Um, it doesn't favor us. So think like three times a week. Hi, Sheppel. Good evening. I didn't see a change on the scale. My monthly is near, but I do feel a big difference. Yeah, your your body's gonna hold on to a little bit of water um, as it prepares you for on flow. I'm gonna try that tonight after my bath. I have an early <laughs> Well, your name is Rose. You should be. You are beautiful and appreciated. Say less. <laughs> yes, and a happy big O also has, gets, gets rid of headaches. They're also quite helpful during that time of the month. They help ease cramps. So. Smooth move tea at night for full evacuation. Jesus. <laughs> Not evacuation. Wow, that is language. Um, when you said evacuation, like I just got the imagery. Evacuation. Wow, I'm gonna stop saying that now. I love how the thumbnail shows you what the big. <laughs> no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Stop. No, no, it doesn't. <laughs> Out of all the things to thumbnail. <laughs> oh, YouTube. You're so disrespectful. Let's get to 100K this month. This month, I have to start making more shorts and then I'll be able to get to 100K. Honestly, the reason I even made it this far is um, shorts. Those little videos about like celebrities and their weight. I did one on Black China about her transformation, half a million views. This one with Meg The Stallion about her glow down at least at least 300,000 views those are my two viral ones so i need to start talking more ish about celebrities <laughs> it's not even ish it's just like i like seeing trends in in like women celebrities so i just make them anyways 
I got to start making some shorts. That's how people are going from zero to a thousand real quick. All right. So I'm going to wrap this up. You started late in the challenge. I've completed the third fast day and I'm down over five pounds. Good job. Great job, Terry. So yeah, I'm going to end this two shorts, one live. I'm going to do, I'm going to do more lives because I have a lot to talk about and I enjoy hearing from you guys. I just feel like it's a girls and free check-in. So, um, I like that. Uh, once again, shorts require some kind of editing and I just, I don't know. we'll see, but I like, I still like being creative. So most of my creativity will come through shorts. But yeah, that was my, um, those were my results on a seven day ADF challenge. Um, already my like size 10 dresses are too big, back to eight. And I have a whole bunch of dresses I'm going to start trying on and seeing what fits and start using that as a gauge to track. Because I really like, I don't care about the scale. I don't care. I want to, you know what I care about? How good I look in this dress. Because when I step out, I'm, I'm, I'm finding the one I'm finding the one. Okay. I'm going to be provided for, you see the ring. It's on the wrong finger. Check for me again in another, another time. It'll be on the right one. Okay. Good night, y'all. How long did you do raw? Oh, I wasn't raw. I was just vegan. Okay. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for keeping me company on this fast night. I hope, um, I helped you make it through. The next thing you should be doing is preparing for bed and hitting the sack. All right. The longer you stay up, the more likely you are to sabotage. So get some good sleep. Remember how to do it. And, oh, you lost six pounds, Elizabeth. Wonderful. I've shouted out as many people. I didn't even do the ADF group. I couldn't. Like, it's just an invasion of their privacy. But if you want to join, links are down below. ADF guide is down below. Links to most of everything I mentioned is down below. And I appreciate you. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.